let's go let's get it ufc 246 uh on the way i know everyone's super excited about the uh connor cerrone fight dope fight uh the the, the fight that i really really don't care about is the motor fairy fight Mother Fairy needs to, I don't know man, she's just, I, I, I don't care about Roxanne Mother Fairy, never have, never will, um, she needs to She needs to look into something else because watching her fight is super boring, um, you know, with, with all due respect to, to, to the art form, I know it's a difficult art form, but um, blech, I've never understood why Roxanne Mother Fairy is still in the UFC, like that just beats me up, anyway, on a more positive, uh, positive side, uh, if you're looking for an exciting fight to watch UFC 246, guys, you have to invest your time into this individual here. I might be a bit biased because he's, he's, he's my African brother. I might be a bit biased in saying this, but I genuinely believe this guy is super hot fire. Like, invest your time, watch his fights. This guy is off the chain. Sadiq Yusuf. Sadiq Yusuf, you have to remember that name, Sadiq Yusuf, and you have to watch his fights. Um, incredible talent, incredible talent, and <clears throat> I'm speaking like he's a newbie. He's not a newbie. He's been doing this for a while. Um, he's getting more and more like really, really good opponents in the UFC. Um, first time I saw Sadiq was uh, a contender series fight. I don't really care about the contender series. I don't really care about uh, Ultimate Fighter, but. I watched this contender series fight here because someone, one of my friends recommended it to me and this fight I'm happy to say that is actually, it's actually on YouTube now so you guys can go ahead and watch it if you don't know who Sadiq Yusuf is go ahead and watch it it's a contender fight I would play it alongside somewhere around here but you know how quick UFC are when it comes to like taking down your videos um, but yeah go ahead and watch the UFC fight uh, contender series fight with Sadiq Yusuf amazing amazing fight we will watch some of his highlights together. Um, I just want to say the things that impressed me about Sadiq is that one, obviously he's got that raw power. Um, but number two, more importantly for me, his cardio. And this is why I'm telling you guys, invest your time in this in this fellow right here. Cause I don't know anyone that has aside <clears throat> aside Nate Diaz. Aside Nate Diaz, I don't really know anyone that has this level of cardio you know what i mean like he fights with his mouth closed he doesn't even break a sweat he's not even like gasping for air he's just super super calm and that is terrifying that is terrifying you know like when you go for the warm-up and everyone else in the warm-up is you know pretty much getting started but you're the only one that's there dying that's me that's usually me during warm-ups i'm usually the one who who struggles to even make it through a warm-up so <clears throat> Sadiq Yusuf, you guys have to uh, invest your time in, into this dude because I'm telling you right now, this is this guy here is is, is one to be uh, to, one to watch. Um, we'll we'll check out some of his highlights. Uh, there's a video here by Stay Hydrated Visuals, um, but I want to see if I can get like uh, a compilation video of his of his knockouts because that that's really what I want you guys to see. Uh, here we go. That's more like it. This is from the Contender series. I think this was the that one that they just showed. That was the one that I watched. I think. Crazy power, crazy power, Sadiq. In this Contender series fight, this one here, he's not even like struggling for air. He's he's calm. He's breathing from the nose, and he's just laying them in. This was this was pre uh prior pre UFC. This one here is the one that's free on YouTube. This contender series fight. Um, look at that. That's that's absolute power. Amazing technique. Boom. Oof. Mm. <laughs> Fighter doesn't know where he is. <laughs> it's 
funny to watch, but it hurts like shit. Ooh. I get I get super excited whenever there's um an up and coming uh, African fighter because for the longest of time, in my opinion anyway, Africa's always had some really really good fighters. They just lack the um the outlets. So most of them have to travel to Europe. Most of them have to travel to the states uh, because in Africa, for the most part anyway, the promotion isn't as big um, as it would be uh, you know uh, outside. Uh, but it's good that when you have someone like you know the the Francis and Ganus, the uh, Usmans and and uh, Sudiks, um, even Adesanya. Even though I find Adesanya to be really really cringe, uh, it's a good thing that they wave their flags and 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 you know it 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 lets it lets the young ones in Africa know that there's there's always a way um, that they can make it in in in, in the sport of uh, MMA or even in the sport of boxing. You know, boxing is a bit different. I know if, I know a few African uh, boxers that that. That, that have really made it. Um, that was a dope ass video. Uh, Fight Sport TV. That was a dope video. Let's see if Stay Hydrated. I don't like montages, man. I want like an actual video of um, Sadiq doing his whole thing. But let's check this one out. My main goal, my, my career is to uh, get into the UFC, become a household name in the UFC, and then chase that belt, man. I'd like to get into the UFC and be able to retire as one of the greats. There's the Niger flag. Some pad work. Oh, you guys love you guys love your intros, man. Your montages in the beginning of your intros, you guys love that. Uh, so I have a feeling that most of these we've already seen, but it's worth watching them again. I, I, I promise you, like, don't sleep on uh, Sadiq Yusuf. Don't sleep on him. What what weight does he what weight does he fight at again? I forgot what weight he fights at. But he's on the prelims, uh, UFC two four six. Don't don't miss don't miss the prelims. I know the, the Conor McGregor's return is 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 outshining everything. But the only thing you should be missing is the Mother Fairy fight. Roxanne Mother Fairy, boring as shit. Don't, don't even bother with that one. Um, keep an eye on Sadiq. Not just here, but in future. 2020, I think he's going to fight like a couple of times. Maybe uh, three, three or two more times. But amazing fighter to watch, guys. Promise you. There we go. Some videos from the uh, Contender Series. Where he really impressed. Oof. Look at that. I think at one point when I was watching the, the contender series, I was thinking to myself, why this guy doesn't breathe? Like his cardio is insane. Like he's not even breathing from like his his mouth. And then at that point, the the commentator said exactly what I was thinking. Cause they were also like, Whoa, this guy's breathing is is really amazing. Leg kicks. I think he's got a record of 11, 11 fights. Um, 11 or 11 or 10. Majority of them are by KO. Um, really impressive. Really, really impressive. Like you need to jump on the bandwagon now. This guy is is really, really fire. Yeah, we've seen this one here. <laughs> it's funny because a lot of people want to fight like Conor McGregor. A lot of people want to do like the the, the wide stance. Um, but you got to check yourself, man. A, a lot of these guys, when you go to gyms, you see them trying to do the Conor McGregor stance, the wide, uh, the wide, um, the wide stance, and it's just like. No, it's not because you're left-handed that you have to do that. You know what I mean? Just find yourself, bro. Find yourself.
Yes. I believe in my power. That's it. Nigerian muscle. That's it. Shout out to everyone in Port Harcourt. Shout out to everyone in Lagos, Abuja. Shout out to everyone in Nigeria. Shout out to all the Niger people in the UK. Niger people in the US. My Niger people in random parts of the world, like Korea. If they, <laughs> my Niger people in Korea, if you're watching this, shout out to you guys. And that's it, guys. UFC 246. Keep an eye out on Sadiq Yusuf. I promise you, Sadiq Yusuf is is one to watch. His his power, his cardio, the technique, amazing. He's up and coming. He's up and coming. He just needs to. When he gets a hold of the mic, he needs to say what he wants. Like when he gets a hold of the mic. He needs to say what he wants because I have a feeling that um, Dana White is going to try to gradually build him up. But he needs to be like, nah, I don't want to gradually build. I'm already built. I want that. So, yeah, that's it for me. Uh, UFC 246. Give me your predictions on the uh, Sadiq fight. Um, no one gives a shit about Roxanne Modafferi. She's, she's easily the, the boringest fighter in the world. Male or female. It doesn't matter. She's just so boring. Uh, and UFC 246. Give us a shout. Uh, what are we today? Friday? So let me know uh, your predictions. Uh, if ever you get to watch this video on time, um, who you think is taking it home, Mystic Mac or uh, Cowboy Cerrone. And that's it from me. I'm out.